everyone and welcome to my channel Wheel of Fortune Psychic Tarot. My name is Nia and today's video is something for the spiritually advanced and curious viewers of mine. So if you clicked on it, thank you because your diseased loved ones will be coming through to give you some mystic messages. As you can see, you have these three groups to choose from. For group number one, we have this lovely malachite stone and a gorgeous card that says death in German, but I really want you to um, focus on the images more than on um, their names, okay? For group number two, we have the Hierophant and this blue Lepidolite. And for group number three, we have the Chariot or Der Wagen in German and this Tiger's Eye Crystal. All you need to do now, as always, is to focus your attention on today's topic and the diseased loved one that you would like to connect with. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, pause the video if you have to, and when you think you're ready, then just see which one of these three gorgeous cards or crystals calls your attention the most. Do not overthink it, and then you can have a look in the description box down below where you find the timestamps for each individual group, so I will see you there. Welcome to your reading, everyone who resonated with group number one, death and this malachite stone. So I will be channeling your loved ones today in order for them to deliver some mystic messages to you. As I said in the intro, this is something for the spiritually advanced and curious because um, the messages won't be sensational or practical. They will be very deep. If that's not your cup of tea, pick some of my other readings, okay? But... I trust that many mature souls will be tuning in today. I can feel everyone's presence. And that being said, the reading is for the collective, okay? Not every detail will resonate, take what does, feel peaceful about what doesn't. It will be for someone else. You know the deal. Um, and right off, even before I opened uh, your group reading here, I felt one presence in particular one spirit in particular and um guys this is this is real what i'm doing here is real i know you know but um i'm not too sure how i feel about this spirit and this will be a message for one of my viewers here in particular um i don't feel like this entity that came in is a human soul um and I'm protected, and guys, you make sure you always protect yourselves before you do anything that has to do with divination or before you watch readings. But I wonder what this being is. They are very curious, and they kind of, they sneaked in. They're not hostile, but there is something very funny about that. So um, the first message here um, that should resonate for a smallish group among you guys is that you are not only channeling um, or making contact with your deceased loved ones, but with other beings as well. So always be careful with what portals and doors you open. No tarot reader ever talks about that. And guys, um, don't get scared or anything. You shouldn't be, but, you know, be mindful of that. Because, um, yeah, you are obviously here because you are looking for healing and deeper understanding. And if you are very interested in that, you open doors in a positive sense that um, gives you messages and knowledge in a more negative sense that can invite beings in that you don't want. So guys, if you have been feeling drained or confused, or if you have been feeling emotions that you feel are not yours, for example, if out of the blue you start to feel paranoid or fearful and you have no valid reason and it's not typically you, know that that's an energy that you soak up from something else that you invited in. And, you know, trigger warning, if you are sensitive, then don't watch this reading, but you're all grown ups, okay? So I can hopefully uh, talk honestly and uh, in a straightforward way with you. Just protect yourselves. And if you have been receiving some warning signs, it's never too late. Just um, 
step into your own like power and um, banish those entities when you really feel it they will disappear you need to put them in their place you can speak out loud to them and always before you start anything like tarot say that you only allow for love and light beings to come in and no one else all right but now back to your deceased loved ones so um you guys you're very spiritual that's why you're not afraid of the death card and you shouldn't be because if you've been following me for some time you know that death is actually transformation it's um the step that's followed by rebirth and you can see this butterfly lady here and i'm getting very high like not high vibrational like old soul energy from you guys and your diseased loved ones and look how she is um observing this beautiful butterfly i feel like you guys watching you have all received some very um deep proof of the existence of the afterlife maybe because my messages here resonate a lot or you have been receiving very very powerful signs so you know that death isn't the end and i feel like for some of you guys watching you have had even more than that you might have had out of body experiences um near death experiences or very like extreme paranormal experiences so you know that there is a lot lot more out there um than just um you know what society allows for us to think and your loved ones they are completely in tune with that and they want to talk to you about that and they might have been the catalyst for your spiritual awakening in that sense okay um but really there is nothing to be afraid of if you have been experiencing some scary things which i have too guys you're not alone because i see so many beautiful flowers here um on that woman's body so flowers and butterflies and guys you are protected these big um white lilies here your guides are with you it won't escalate but stay mindful and if you have been practicing meditation you have really opened up your chakras especially your heart chakra and again be careful what you allow in okay but yeah your loved ones they are they are old souls as well <laughs> definitely old souls and green stands for hope and uh, faith and growth okay so um you and your loved ones know that there are so many layers of truth about our existence and uh, you guys should definitely watch my educational videos if you haven't already and when will this reading come out um i think it will yeah it will have come out after my huge probably triggering truth uh, video about god the devil aliens and spirit guides um you should watch it you are very receptive to this okay so yeah let's see what your loved ones want to say though let's get my mystic tarot cards they are german mysticious tarot and they inspired me to do this reading those cards are so gorgeous i love them so much i got them myself look at the silver shine here so much high vibrational energy and guys if anyone would like to support me here by sending in some crystals or cards i have an amazon wishlist link down below otherwise please guys drop me some purple hearts comment give me a thumbs up give this video a chance in the algorithm if you want other people like you to find me and if you want to show me that you appreciate what i'm doing which many of you do i'm so grateful <sighs> loved ones please drop some mystic knowledge here whoops wow oh my god <laughs> that was amazing i felt like saying something sassy and your loved ones were sassy back like your loved ones they mirror your energies understand that please they mirror your energies so if you are high vibrational they will show you something high vibrational if you're sassy okay cheeky like me they will um show that back but if you are i don't know 
remorseful or frustrated or angry okay if you have low vibrational energies they will reflect that too be very careful about that you have a very very strong soulmate connection you and your loved ones that's why you were drawn to this mystic reading but please know that you are not twin flames twin flames that is a lie that's a toxic deceitful term you're not twin flames but you are um very very close soulmates you have known each other for many 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 lifetimes okay and um i see these two two what is that even like fans or like plants you have such a deep connection you have such a long history and what your loved ones are saying is that they would love for you to do some past life regression stuff i've been thinking about um doing a live past live um regression meditation maybe <laughs> but i'm about to do my uh, live spirit guide channeling let me know if you are interested in past life regression because i might be able to do something for you guys so your loved ones are saying if you're looking for answers um, in your connection with your loved ones go back you need to go back and yeah just dig up uh, your past your past lives mm, yeah you've been together in the same connection for many past lives that is not always true for everyone okay we are not always the same gender the same religion the same nationality the same ethnicity that changes always and our relationships with the person we meet changes but you have been in the same connection so maybe siblings you have been siblings for ages or lovers okay or i see many like um parent child duos here know that you have been that for a long long time and um yeah with the aster scheiben they call uh, the pentacles discs frisbee might reminds me of a frisbee um you know the frisbee always no that's the boomerang but why am i thinking of boomerang are you from australia or something i'm I'm seeing like the this coming back there's there's a piece of knowledge that will be thrown back at you because your loved ones and you you mirror each other so much so if you ask they will deliver okay also trees will be very do you have a wishing tree uh, are you from my second channel where i did the wishing tree ritual there's something huge about trees trees are a source of life and a huge symbol another ace guys the ace of cups look that is you and the cup is just bursting with butterflies they want to congratulate you on your true spiritual awakening and true spiritual um uh, like uh, reaching the next level you have reached okay that is their message i get it now so in many past lives you have had the same connection and the same issue that often happens you go through the exact same thing and if you don't learn from it you you can't run from karma it will find you again and again and they're saying this time you did it Okay, this time you both did not fail. So you can really grow into something new, into something else in your next lives. And especially if you have been um, dealing well with this grieving journey and whatever else is happening in your life, know that you have set your soul free. Your soul is free. Trust and believe that in your next lives, you'll come together again, but you will not face the same challenge again. And I feel like the challenge was losing each other in death. That will not happen. You have set yourself free. Your soul is now open to receive love and transformation. You have reached a high level and they are so proud of you because like you are a couple, a soul couple, okay? And here, look at that. I told you mirroring. This lady here, she's sitting on the lake and you can see her mirror reflection and your loved ones, they have succeeded as well. This is about spiritual success. Two aces. Is someone's name here Kelly or is that um, a last name? I think in like the northern parts of 
the UK, Kelly. Is, isn't that also like a last Irish name or Scottish name? Kelly or someone, or Kenna. Kelly Kenna, I'm hearing that for some of you. Guys, look at that. The Eight of Wands. And she has um, umbrellas. And she's just flying off with them. She's dancing in the air. That is you guys. Um, really, you should not have been feeling low vibrational. Again, if you have, that's due to other um, vampire energy entities around you, dead or alive, okay, or other entities. Really, you should be feeling so free and uplifted. And if you have not been feeling like that, know that it's coming. Just soak up these messages and know that it's absolutely coming for you. You are free. Look, there's a free bird in the sky. Listen to the song Free Bird. Wow, guys. There is this burst of energy coming your way and it roots in your spiritual liberation of finally managing to deal with death in a, a spiritual way so you don't have to face it again your loved ones are very very proud of you and this is again something like ancient that you have been working on for many past lives i love these cards so much i'm so glad i got them wow queen of cups and the queen uh, the king of cups is right underneath so this time i'm going to take them both i don't always do that but you know from what i've been telling you you just know that it makes sense um look at that so you are definitely two of the same kind now i i saw many parent child relationships here but also saw lovers maybe you guys watching you have children with the person you lost um you are soul family absolutely soul family you are divine um not divine counterparts because you're the same you're on the same wavelength and um I'm just loving the energy. This is very deep. So um, again, if you have been feeling low, you might be an empath. Um, maybe your loved one felt very low when they were alive. It's just because you are mature souls right now. Life on uh, planet Earth is absolute hell. Okay, so it's no wonder you're feeling down. Um, but you look, there is two fish. I want to say whales. Maybe someone here was in the Navy. Um or you live by the sea okay but this is such amazing energy here so you will find each other again definitely and um just celebrate right now that when you come back together in your next lives you will start a new journey because thanks to your um spiritual true spiritual awakening you have seriously uplifted yourselves as well as your loved ones which i love let me just check the time Okay, we still have time for some messages. Um, I want to pick my letters now because I, I heard the name Kelly or Kenna. Maybe even Ken. Um, let's see what else I get. Protect your ears, okay? Also Betty or Elizabeth. Yeah, that's for sure. Letter B coming through. Oh my God, so many. Why so many? A, N, F, the gap. Again, this is representing the fresh start. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So maybe you see something that um, makes sense in your native language. You see some initials here, but... I see something in German here. I see um, top and that is pot and that triggers the cup thing. So guys, your cup will be filled. Your cup will be filled and your pot will grow some amazing flowers. Just trust and believe and really get into that energy. Also, I see 4-4 four, four here. When I started your recording, my camera was showing 4 minutes, 44 seconds. Watch out for angel number 444. Four, four. I've been seeing that a lot in my readings. Also, someone here could be named Anne or Anna. Also, I see um, Latin um, Anno. 
that uh, refers to your ancient soul connection okay uh, ancient ancient soul connection guys you've you spent thousands of lives together and you still will and you should now celebrate that you have successfully completed um, an ongoing karmic challenge okay so yeah many here watching could be from europe all right many here could be from europe or again your past life connection was in Europe, which is very possible. The majority, the vast majority of my viewers, you guys, you are from the US, over 60% of my viewers are from the US. So um, yeah, very, very possible that you have European ancestry. Um, if not, still possible. Okay, Europe plays a huge role, maybe because I'm from Europe, I don't know. Um, take that however it resonates. Now on to some oracle cards. Very mystic today. Also use many crystals, big ones, because your loved ones draw energies from those. They're not allowed to draw mine. That's why I gave them crystals. Puppy 41 dream, guys. That there's the four again. So you should have wild dreams if you are very, you know, spiritual. Definitely your loved ones, they watch over you when you dream. And depending on how good you are at remembering your dreams, you will have many dream visitations. If you don't, then please work on remembering your dreams, work on lucid dreaming. Um, look for answers in past life regression and in astrology. Astrology, if you have a good astrologer, not the new age superficial BS ones, Good astrologers can tell you a lot about your past life. I really like my mom. She's she is so good at astrology. If you think I'm good at tarot, my mom's even better at astrology than I am at tarot. Like she needs her channel. She needs a channel. She could do amazing things with it. So watch out for your dreams and maybe you even um, travel. I've had this before in a recent reading where um, my viewers, I saw them traveling out of body and meeting up with their um, loved ones on the other side Tip for emotional healing because I see a lot of pain here. By the way, astrology can also tell you a lot about your next life if you complete your challenges. can tell you a lot about where you will end up next. Passion flower, 43. There it is again. I told, Look, the two owls, that's you and your loved ones. Ancient soulmate energy. Ancient soulmate energy, okay? So trust that you are in fact still connected because our higher selves are always connected. Um, and again, she's holding that cup. And you have surrendered to karma. You have surrendered to your fate. You have not been in your victim mentality. You've learned from it. That's why you have succeeded. So they're really, really proud of you. You will be hugely rewarded. So I see these fish everywhere. There's a huge message about fish here. Ooh, horse tail. Uh, this reminds me of a unicorn on my second channel. I have... Um, Unicorn readings. I love unicorns. If you do, you should watch those on Wheel of Fortune Mystic Tarot. Here it says patience. So your loved ones are saying you will be alone now for a while, okay? You are still on the earth plane for a very specific reason, okay? Until you will reunite, but trust that the flow of life will always bring you back together in the same dimension. It's absolutely written in your in your fate. Just follow your trail is what they're saying. Rest if needed and um, believe in your magic. You will find your magic again very soon, especially if... Um, you have been following here the advice that I have given to you in today's reading. So guys, that's so beautiful. I hope you like this reading. If that's the case, then give it a thumbs up because that's all I have for you. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the bell so that you will never miss out on any new content on my channel in the future. Take super good care and until soon, hopefully. Bye-bye. Welcome to your reading, everyone who resonated with group number two, the lovely um, Hierophant card and this blue Lepidolite here. This is purple Lepidolite. Here we have blue Lepidolite. This is a very um, potent stone, in my opinion. But anyway, so thank you for clicking on this video because it's not sensational. It's for um, the spiritually advanced and curious. So um, 
I feel like you are a wise old soul. I will be channeling your loved ones to give you some deeply spiritual advice or uh, guidance or answers. Um, I feel like this is about them giving you knowledge and answers. Okay, keep in mind though, the reading is for the collective. Not every detail will resonate. Take what does, feel peaceful about what doesn't. It will be for someone else. That being said, I have the first psychic download, so this purple heart will mean a lot to someone here watching. The heart, the purple heart. I have a few viewers who deeply resonate with my purple heart symbology, okay? And I'm also feeling, again, that this reading is for me as well. That happens so often, uh, my dad keeps on coming through in my tarot readings. And so if you'll be resonating with this, know that we are on the same boat. Um, so look at that lovely imagery here. So this girl, that's you. You can be a man, but you know, it's just the imagery here. Sitting on a tree um, with her huge owl friend that is our diseased loved ones and it looks like the owl is teaching the girl and she's listening so now and you should know this if you have been on my channel for a long time that everything that happens to us the good and the bad and that all the people we meet the good ones the bad ones they are always here to teach us a lesson and your loved ones and i can completely relate to that are your biggest teacher in this incarnation and they can only be your biggest teacher spiritual teacher if they put you through something okay you can't learn if you're not challenged and it could very well be that something horrific happened but again if you have been following me for a long time you know that um, karma is um, our own choosing karma happens if we miss our lessons if we make it more and more complicated you know so definitely disaster has struck because i see this tree and i feel like um it was hit by lightning at some point and that reminds me of the tower card so you could have lost your loved one either suddenly or um, traumatically or like both but they have uh, really aspired to high levels on the other side they're not um please don't mistake your loved one's ego presence in this one lifetime with their eternal higher self um it's their higher selves here talking to them okay so and they want you to listen so yeah love this um deep deep connection here there, it could be that some mothers are coming through here or that you are a mother for some of you. It could be about um, mother trauma maybe also. But your person can be a dad, they can be a child, a lover, anyone. The reading is not gender or relationship specific. So loved ones, come through and tell us. Tell us what's going on. What do you want to say? What do you want to preach about? I feel like they're going to preach. They're going to preach, loved ones. What do you want to preach? The Hierophant really is exactly that. That is, um, you know, higher dimensional um, being, uh, giving wisdom. And um, it talks about a deep soul bond um, deep karmic connection based on karmic agreements that you made with both of your spirit um, teams okay so you're not alone in this it's also your sp entire spirit team wow um mäßigkeit these uh, cards are german i love them so much they're called mystisches tarot so uh, mystic tarot that's what inspired um today's reading <laughs> i love she reminds me of alice in wonderland a little bit i don't know why Hmm. I see this lamp shape here and it makes me feel a certain way. I'm, go I'm about to receive a psychic download, so give me a second. Okay, I see someone's deathbed here. You probably watched your loved one die or you saw their dead body, which happened to me too. My heart goes out to you. And that is kind of still floating over your head so to say the memories of the past trauma any loved one saying it's time for healing which is easier said than done um easier said than done but that is still overshadowing you and your life the trauma of what happened 
So what else is new, loved ones? Give us something new that is not obvious. Also see other people involved. Uh, like uh, some of your loved ones here, they are showing me their funeral. They are showing me their funeral. Another psychic download I'm receiving here. This is a very psychic reading with the Hierophant. I'm not surprised. They were present at their own funeral and he might have had a dream about their funeral and them being present at their funeral. And they're, they're saying they were standing in the crowd watching um, the coffin being kind of um, slowly dropped into um, the soil or whatever ceremony you had. They were watching. They were there. Maybe you felt them. Um, so they were watching. And guys, please keep in mind, yes, you can visit your loved one's graves, their resting place or, um, you know, their urns or whatever you have. But keep in mind, their soul is free. Focus on finding them absolutely anywhere. Don't associate them with their resting place. That's a shell they left behind and that they often no longer want to associate with. And this is a very important message. If you have been thinking about... Um, I don't know how you say that. Um, you know, you have to pay rent for a grave. And if it's too stressful, you can't afford it anymore. Or you can't look after the grave anymore. They say, just just leave it. Just it's not important for me. OK, so this is about um, them wanting to distance yourselves from their dead body, which is the empty shell that they no longer inhabit, their grave site, anything associated with you. Um, putting in money into that they're saying don't just don't it's not good for your finances and for your mental health there are much more important ways to pay respect to um, a deceased person and to you know maintain their grave wow yes oh my god that's the death card if you felt drawn to group number one definitely watch it this is your calling so they're talking about their passing. <sighs> talking about their passing. What is it? I'm getting the same. This is talking about um, muscles. What? Muscles? Mm -hmm. This is not very spiritual or diseased loved ones. Why are you showing me muscle? Like s flesh, okay? Um, it could be that for some of you, uh, you found your loved one and you saw some open wounds. And they are telling you, please, and I did too, guys, okay? When I was only 15, so I know what that feels like. Um, yeah, okay. I might, oh my God, I'm, gonna, I'm getting a little bit emotional because... Yeah, that there's a very traumatizing incident um, that happened that I deeply regret. And there was no one to protect me from that, even though adults around me should have protected me from experiencing that. But I know that I was meant to go through it. And part of the reason I'm, I'm having this channel is because I saw that. But look, she is looking away from I see like you don't see that there, but like I saw images. She is looking at the butterfly and the flower. And they're saying, stop looking at my dead body. Stop looking at my gravesite, at my remains. Stop looking at all of those things, that physical material belongings. Look away. Turn your attention to where I really am. I'm this beautiful butterfly. I'm this flower on your shoulder. I visit you. I try to send you signs, but you are distracted. You are not shifting your focus. Please get over it. <laughs> And that can be asking a lot, but, you know, sometimes you have to show yourself tough love and don't like I'm someone who is I was diagnosed with uh, trauma. OK, repeated trauma. But my psychologist, my therapist, he's I love him. He shows me tough love and we agree it's not healthy to constantly revisit your old trauma to like constantly talk about it. You are feeding your energy into that. Just just leave it. OK, say it had to happen. It was written in your fate. Don't give it all of your energy because you're missing out on especially the signs that your loved ones try to send you of their eternal presence. Don't associate them with the body they left behind and how they lost it. 
yes no, oh my god look at that nine of swords this is the trauma card this is look this woman here she has fearful eyes tired eyes sad eyes um so many eyes here on her naked body maybe many of you lost a husband here could very well be with the hierophant card or a father um but whatever resonates or maybe like a sibling okay this is keeping you up at night and um, of course you should not suppress trauma if you have physical reactions especially process it talk to yourselves in that case like you would to a child that's experiencing ptsd but let go let go let go let go of it look there is brightness and flowers behind her but she's focusing on these dark clouds and on the loss and on how vulnerable she is you need to start and do little things to shift your perspective they're asking you for, for you to do that because if you don't guys you create um negative karma and everything i'm preaching is what i'm practicing myself i'm telling this myself if you hold on to how they died if that's all you can think about if you can't let go you hold on to that energy and you will bring it with you into the next life and you don't want that you don't want it just accept it and let it go yes accept it and let it go and be surprised how easy it actually is you know, um, I often talk about this with my therapist who I have been seeing for over 13 years that so many therapists can actually be toxic because the way they try and help cure trauma is actually counterproductive. Um, so show yourself some tough love and focus on something new. Look, there's this cute goldfish jumping out of the pot. Maybe you have, do you have a little pond with fish in it? And you watch the pond maybe you have some beautiful um vegetation around that pond but yeah flowers guys if you think you can't get out of your darkness yes you can if i can do it you can do it too and it's much easier than you think you can distract yourselves but you need to like want to do it you need to put in the effort in that dark moment and do something fun do something out of your comfort zone pick up a hobby just raise your vibration your loved ones really really want you to do that and they're promising you that if only you try it will work out for you don't become the trauma you know you become the trauma by giving it so much attention now let's get some um oracle cards for you guys if you enjoy this reading please give it a chance in the algorithm give it a thumbs up drop some hearts in the comment section um say something it really helped me out and uh, if you'd like to send in some cards or crystals i have an amazon wishlist link down below and thank you for all the love i've been receiving from so many guys you are awesome and i love you really do such a great family that we have created here a family of like-minded people who help each other heal and also yeah it's no coincidence um you know you have self-help groups they can also be toxic you need to that's a message a specific message for some of you if you have been um going to a group um you know where you meet up with people who go through the same thing you keep on doing it if it makes you feel good but if it hasn't if you still haven't healed know that it's toxic for you and that the energies in that group will bring you down i saw that in a documentary about a guy who created a youtube channel he experienced the exact same thing as a child that i did with his father okay and um i just it made me so bad to uh, listen to his videos and sometimes it just doesn't help because you only bring each other down don't do that like do something different something uplifting okay purpose you are serving your purpose okay um i want to do a video soon about what's your life's purpose the purpose is that you fix your karmic contracts that you work on them it's not having an education buying a house starting a family no your purpose is to deal with what you were given when you came into this life okay um 
and you are following your purpose and your purpose is to get rid of your fears and to shed a light on your darkness really take that seriously so that you don't become the darkness okay channel your sun energy lavender guys i told you that the purple heart thing here is huge for some of you oh my god like i just get i just get signs from my dad that this is for me look there is an angel playing on a violin in the sky and sorry guys if you don't like me being chatty but many of you say that you do so i'm going to share a little anecdote here because it's uplifting so i play the violin as most of you will know and i get many violin signs um so my friend Theo, she sent me some oracle cards and i opened them and i pulled a card and there was an angel on it playing the violin and set harmony and the same day I um, I play Wordle, the crossword riddle, but it's not crossword, Wordle, look it up, New York Times Wordle every day. And that same day, the solution word was angel. The next day, the solution was music. So I got angel music in a row and it's violin angel. So I sent Phil an email with my violin playing and she said that the same day she received my email before that, she pulled the same oracle card with the violin angel on it, guys. Magic is real. Embrace it. And maybe your loved ones are saying that you should um, choose music for healing, which obviously I do. No toxic self-help groups or toxic therapists. Make art. Paint. Do something with your hands. Movement. Um, gardening. Being outdoors. Playing an instrument. Guys, start playing an instrument. It's never too late. Okay, heal your inner child. Have some lavender tea. Watch my uh, videos here if you love purple. Oh, yes, retreat. Again, I see 444 here. Oh, this cute bear. I love this. Raishi, retreat. So 27. Maybe someone here is that age or you lost your loved one when you were that age. 27 will resonate. Guys, you need a retreat, but not to retreat with uh, people who bring you down. You need to retreat um, some own personal time with yourselves, okay, and some animals and nature. That will heal you. Go for a walk in the forest. I feel like this is a sign for some of you here watching. Like the violin angel was for me, this mushroom, um, and the trees might be a sign for you. Absolutely. Okay. Let's draw some letters finally here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have K. KLM is someone Dutch here. Reminds me of the Dutch airline KLM. Um, oops. E I N um, Z. Oh my God. Yeah, it's a trash if you're watching. It's definitely for you. Okay. Um, New Zealand is someone from New Zealand. Um, also, I had the the word, I was thinking it, because my mum's name is Katarina. Um, so maybe someone else is uh, Catherine, Kathy, Kati, like my mum. K and the number four. K for sure means something. Um, so yeah, maybe you see a synchronicity here for you. Also, clover. I see the uh, German word for clover with four-leaf clover. Do you have a four-leaf clover? Let me know. This is about good luck and prosperity that will find you if you do what you have been told here. All right. So this is all I have for you guys today. I hope it resonated and helped you. If that's the case, give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already, turn on the bell for notifications so that you will never miss out on a new reading on my channel in the future. Take super good care and answer soon, hopefully. Bye. Welcome to your reading, everyone who resonated with group number three, the chariot and this tiger's eye crystal here. So um, you're one of the spiritually mature and curious. If you clicked on this video, it will be mystic messages from your deceased loved ones. So something very, very deep and spiritual and mystic. Um, if you're not into that, watch another reading of mine i have many fun and sensational ones but this is something more serious more deep okay and it's not gender specific not relationship specific it's for the collective though so not everything will resonate take what does feel peaceful about what doesn't will be for someone else 
and I'm receiving the first psychic downloads. Okay, I want to do this. I want to do this. I'm getting ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend energy here. So it's for the collective, but for some of you watching, you will be the ex-girlfriend of this person. Okay, or maybe ex-wife or something. Or it's reversed, but there's a breakup situation for sure. Breakup, separation. Um, if you were not romantic, maybe this is a mother or a father, mother who left you. Like someone here left the other one behind when you were still alive. And this is about bringing the two hearts together. And I want to do this. Um, so now you chose tiger's eye here. Tiger's eye is very earthly. And that is good because, you know, earthly means um, prosperous, but it also means tedious and slow. There's so much golden shine in this one. I hope the camera shows it. So know that there is a treasure in this uh, darkness, in this, I'm hearing muddy, muddy soil, like dirt. There's a lot of dirt here. Like either it's figurative dirt or literal dirt where you live, dirt. I'm like, dirty hands. Someone here have dirty hands or like someone here have dirty shoes being really messy. I don't know, but um, the main message I can't stop playing with this crystal because it looks so beautiful. And traces, traces in the dirt. That will resonate. That's just a psychic download. I'm seeing like traces, like from a car or a dirt bike. I don't know. But yeah, for all of you, what will resonate is um, that something was left behind. And there is heaviness. You might have chosen to leave your, your loved one, but it's so hard for you and you feel like you're stuck now and you, yeah, everything is moving so slowly, like you're riding um, a snail. This is not a horse. This is not the chariot here being pulled by horses. This is a snail very, very slowly. And here, this gives me Aries energy. So you might be someone who is very stubborn you can be very stubborn and <laughs> if you don't get what you want you act very um you you act very in a triggered way like you want to get your way and if you don't get it you have an extreme reaction and it could be that now and i'm not judging you i'm just reading the energies keep in mind i'm the translator i'm not the judge that's just what i'm seeing if it doesn't resonate it's not for you just don't feel attacked okay um but yeah, you might regret uh, leaving or breaking up with that person or they might regret. But I really feel like this is you, you having the regret. You feel like you left behind something precious or that you could have built on. But you're very stubborn. You were hurt. And there is no way back. And your ego was hurt, your pride and ego. And uh, you know that you deserve better and more. But at the same time, you haven't really received closure. You, so you're not getting anywhere because you're being pulled in different directions. You're being pulled back and forward. So um, as a result, you stay stuck. Your loved ones know they're coming through here. They're definitely coming through. <laughs> and um, she looks, her face reminds me of my youngest brother's ex-girlfriend. Um, so maybe she's watching. I don't think she watches my readings, but who knows? Who knows, right? Because, yeah, um, it could be that either your loved one, yeah, your loved one, before they passed, it could be that they try to kind of um, find out information about you online. Um, yeah, they try to find out what's going on because you might have cut contact, but they were curious about you. They had their spies on you. Definitely. So loved ones, what else is going on here? And this is not very mystic yet, so okay, okay. Oh, the cards are so slippery. This is um, the page of cups in the reverse. Came out in the reverse. Saw this card in group number one. So yeah, this is about 
you not being able to have a new beginning and you know it's up to it's it's you if you have been suffering from migraines guys or headaches um know that it's because you you are stubborn you're still holding on to something in the past which you decided yourself to let go of and your loved ones are like telling you just let go just move on you, I feel that this very contradicting energy here. Maybe if you kind of you want to start fresh with them, but you can't because they have passed away. What is this? Um, also, if none of this has resonated, there could be some children involved. Your loved one might have left behind a child or they had a child with an ex-partner and they preferred their child over you and thus also kind of their ex-partner because they were the mother or the parent of that child there's some trauma around that too like a child is involved here what about this please loved ones give some constructive messages here well oh my god why am i always seeing the same cards today this was group number one this card showed up in group number two so death is a big uh, topic here if you felt drawn to group number one definitely watch it if not don't watch it but this is about an ending this is about accepting an ending which you have been struggling with no judgment and i feel like you had already struggled with that ending when they were still alive because you were very likely in separation this is about an ending that is needed for rebirth. Okay, because you won't get anywhere the way you've been going on around it, about it right now. And your loved ones are saying they are open for a new beginning, but you have to get closure. And I know it's difficult, very difficult, especially if you can't have a talk or can't find answers. I have so many readings. Just dig through my videos, guys, about hidden truths and receiving closure and all of that. You might receive some answers there. Um, but know that if you hold on to things from the past, you, you're not ready for the future. And your loved ones, they are, they're a bit of, you know, the social butterfly here, the karmic butterfly. They're just like, La -di -da -di -da. I'm just, I'm, I'm done with it. I'm free and I want to have fun. They only want the nectar and you might be someone who, you know, you can't forgive or forget. And that's not a good combination here. They're talking about that. Yep, Queen of Cups. No, ki what? King of Cups. I am very confused because I saw a King of Cups earlier. Is that is that a mistake in in the cards that I just received? Because there was a King of Cups card, I swear. And um, why do I have the King of Cups here twice? what is this okay this is definitely this will resonate for you this is maybe about a love triangle and i need to find out am i going crazy what's going on i'm just looking for um this king of cups that i saw this would be a bummer because i just received these cards and i don't want um for there to be like a mistake on the cards i need to find this card for you because that is a message for you if you're still here, guys, <laughs> I'm, I'm just being real with you. Page, where is it? Guys, if he's gone now. Okay, here we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, what the hell is going on? What is this? I'm not crazy. And this is meant for you, okay? Why? Do I have a King of Cups and a King of Cups? So this is obviously German. König der Kelche, König der Kelche. What's going on? I need to contact the seller because that is not, you know. But here we have a female in this Cups card. And I told you love triangle thing. So maybe you left your loved one because they cheated on you with another woman or they prioritized another woman or maybe it's reverse roles. Um, it's about men or you were the child in this connection. But this is talking about love triangle. And again, look here, she has um, this baby seahorse. There's a child involved. This is not mystic at all, okay? This is very practical. 
Guys, um, you don't have to tell me anything private, but uh, if this resonates, then give it a thumbs up. Please leave, um, leave a cup emoji or a water emoji if you don't want to say any more, because I need to know if these very explicit things here resonate with you. And also just give me a chance in the algorithm, thumb it up, because that helps me, you know, know if you appreciate my content. And thank you to everyone giving me such elaborate um, feedback and validation. <sighs> yeah, like, this is you. This is you, this king of cups, this queen of cups. You you left the situation. You, you took your ship, you left. And he... If I say she and he and it doesn't match your situation, just uh, change it in your head. It's just m more simple for me to say it like that. It, this could have been a woman and you could be a man, but they missed you. They were heartbroken that you left them. They missed you like in their heart, you were the one, but they had to stay with um, the parent of this child they had. So they only prioritized this woman because, or this man, I don't know, or this person, because they were the parent of this child and they loved the child, but um, the heart connection was you and that's what was going on before their passing, okay? Wow. But this is so annoying here with the two kings. Um, yeah. I want one more tarot card about your loved ones. So what are they trying? I think they want to express regret and heartbreak over you, like, leaving them. And they want to have a fresh start. But obviously, I, as a reader, can understand if you're heartbroken. So this is a messy situation. This is very messy. Yes. Five of Swords. blind in one eye uh, you might have not found out about this for a long time or like there was some lies and deception or someone deliberately looking away and look at the man in the back he has a broken heart so know that um when you decided to walk away the heart was broken and they might have looked happy on the outside when you saw them online maybe but they weren't they were shattered they were very shattered and now you can't get any closure because um yeah they they're gone and you can't fix this Ooh -wee. but they had a lot of passion and love for you they thought you were super attractive and all of that but yeah very passionate maybe a bit too passionate sometimes but there is unfinished business and look you took a piece of the heart she is holding a piece of his heart you have a piece of their heart and guys please um resolve your karma now so you don't bring this baggage with you into the next life practice forgiveness if you can't forgive then accept and find peace okay but if you bring rage and frustration with you um your next life will be a, a lot harder together you definitely meet again because your your person he has a lot of uh, sorrow and regret um let's get some let's get some um letters I feel like we're going to see um, your loved one's initial or something. Um, again, I'm hearing the word um, Berta or something or Betty. It's followed me. E. Okay. Oh my god. So. You can pause the video and see if you can um, find any relevant uh, letters here or letter combinations um, representing names. Okay, Jennifer for sure. Jennifer, Jenny um, for sure. <laughs> Generation Z, maybe I see that as well. Upside down. Um, yeah, a lot of, I feel like, look at that. Uh, I feel like you might feel regretful because you said some words that you can't take back. You were triggered and hurt. So you uh, said some words to this person that really hurt them. And they want to tell you what you said to me. Shattered me, crushed my heart. I understand why you did it. But you said something to them and you broke their heart. 
into pieces and guys they can hear you if you feel sorry speak to them okay speak to them say i didn't mean it or like i i felt hurt but i love you and you know we can fix this it's never too late also jasmine jasmine i see jazz um also see the ocean maybe you were in a long distance relationship because you know see um, and Z, uh, maybe you you moved away very far after this breakup. Um, yeah, um, maybe you were like a lover and you had an only physical relationship uh, that was hidden from this mother here. And uh, you were heard that they never really wanted to take things to the next level and keep it straight physical. But they want to tell you in that case that they did have more emotions for you than that. Okay, and you should be a little bit more zen about it is what they're saying, guys. Um, it's asking a lot, but meditate, breathe, and don't let this destroy you. I know it's easier said than done, but don't bring this baggage with you, okay? Resolve the karma. Let's get some more oracle cards. These were gifted to me by Diane. I don't know if I said it already or not. I'm a bit all over the place, but I have an Amazon wishlist link down below for those of you who would like to send in some cards or crystals, like so many of you lovelies did. Helps a lot. And the cards that I got myself have two kings in it. Why? Why, oh why? Yeah, don't ask why. <laughs> don't ask why, just... Um, let it go like um, the Snow Queen. Let it go. Let the pain go. But like your loved ones, they can't. They are hurting. They're really hurting. And they maybe died from a broken heart because of this drama. But know that they didn't prioritize this woman. They prioritized the child. So don't be jealous of the woman too much, um, you know. It's natural for a parent to want to be there for the child and it could be that this um, ex-partner kind of used the child as a means to um, lock down your loved one here. Lion's mane, leadership. Yeah, this is very passionate here. But look at the, the scales here. You need to find balance. Um, there's a lot of tears that were shed, a lot of trouble here in the emotion ocean, about a lot of passion and regret, regret about acting triggered, and that is mutual. But just be more like a tree. Be in your earth energy. Come down from your fire and air and um, water energy. Be earth, be the earth. Do some earthly um, meditations that will help you a lot to find balance. Do some yoga or if you feel like you are about to explode because you're feeling so triggered and angry, exercise. They're saying exercise, you know. When in doubt, run it out. Do some running. Run it out. That will help you, okay, a lot. Um, calm the storm yes joy find your joy again hibiscus um number 14 didn't we have the temperance card no we didn't have it here but this is temperance energy look um this is a um, hummingbird they are spiritual messengers you will receive signs in either surrounding a tree or you find feathers your loved ones coming back saying sorry and realize that the words you speak have power they manifest so don't speak negative words because they will manifest speak words of kindness love and peace that will help and find your joy again start fresh that's what your loved ones want for you because you deserve joy and they are not joyous at all so they kind of need to do that as well <clears throat> dream had this before a dream they will come to you in your dreams or maybe you have had many many dreams about this um drama this trauma okay um definitely work um with your dreams your dreams tell you a lot about your subconscious um and just make sure you're okay guys find some balance my heart goes out to you for this messy situation but this is all i have for you if it resonated then please give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe if you haven't already turn on the bell so that you will never miss out on a new reading on my channel in the future take very good care and to soon hopefully bye bye